Hey guys, this is the iGaming 1776, and this is one of those fun times where Windows does something screwy. Now, I normally have sound go out of my computer via HDMI a lot of the time. I actually switch between some different options, but a lot of the time I do HDMI. The funny thing is, is it's not available right now. So let me show you how I'm going to handle that. I go down to the sound icon, I right click on it, I hit playback devices. Now I should have something that says Elgato, all right? These headsets are for my Astro headset. The digital audio S slash PDIF, that's for when I use the optical out. I use a fiber optic cable. Headphones, that's probably for the headphone jack, I would imagine. Same thing for speakers. But my HDMI option is not there. Now I do the good old standby, right click and show disabled devices, disconnected devices, but guess what? They're, it's still not gonna be there. My Elgato is not there. Now I have found a fix for this. I don't know if this is the normal fix for it, but this is the fix I use. I'm using a GTX 970 card, so I'm gonna go to NVIDIA's website, which is geforce.com. I'm going to go to geforce.com, as you can see right there. Then I'm gonna go to drivers. Now I already have this driver installed, which is crazy. And if I use the GeForce Experience app, it's gonna say I already have this driver installed. But I'm gonna reinstall the driver anyway from NVIDIA's website, and this usually fixes it. So here we go, GeForce 900 series. I don't have a Titan X, this is a 970. I'm not on Windows 7, sometimes I am, but right now I'm on Windows 10. So Windows 10, 64-bit, start search. And then we're gonna have this driver up here, this top one from February 15th. We're gonna put that driver in. We're going to agree, tell it to download. I'm waiting at the bottom here. Uh, where I have the mouse circling around here. I'm waiting for Windows to do its little song and dance so that I can open this. <clears throat> and run. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of videos this weekend. I'm kind of losing my voice. Hadn't really planned on doing this one, but I figured this might be useful to some of you guys. Now, why this happens, I honestly have no idea. I, I really don't. Um, I know enough about computers to you know, fix my problems. I don't know enough about computers to know why my HDMI option is missing. There, there's this, I was looking for that. Yeah, I don't know why the HDMI option is missing. So I'm gonna close the browser. I don't need that anymore. It's usually there. You right, see, usually you go over here, you right click on that icon, you go to playback devices, and it will say Elgato in this case, because I have an Elgato in between my computer and my monitor but right now the option is not there whatsoever. So this is, this is all we're gonna do. Uh, if you wanna shut the video off now, you can. You, you might not wanna watch me install a driver, but it shouldn't take too much longer from this point. I think my NVIDIA driver's installed just a little bit quicker than my AMD drivers. It, it's not a big deal either way. I mean, neither one takes an overly tremendous amount of time. Just checking my other computer to make sure. Because when the screen flickers black, sometimes my other computer stops the recording. In case you guys have ever wondered, you know, what it's like to record with a separate computer using a, a playback capture device. There are little hiccups. See, the screen just went black. Question is, are we still going to record or not? Well, the countdown timer's still going, so it looks like we're still good. Yeah, sometimes... When the screen goes black, my Elgato decides to end the recording session. And because I don't edit my sessions together, I, I upload a single session, that can be an issue for me. I've said this before, I've got kids, I've got work. Um, I, I don't edit the videos, just being real. Still recording. Yeah, if I did edit the videos, I could fast forward through this part. Um, I, I don't blame you guys if you want to scrub past this. I don't. All right, so we should be good. It has finished. It has finished. Um, I'll see if Elgato is there. I might have to restart the computer. So GeForce driver up to date. It was already up to date. But let's see if Elgato is available now or if we have to restart the computer. Oh, there's Elgato. See? This is, uh, why does this happen? I have no idea here. Let me show you now. Now you should be able to hear the Elgato when I click on this thing. Hold on, that, I got my stereo up, hold on. 
Uh, oh, yeah, it's actually the Elgato's turned up. All right, so I'll shut up and click it. Yeah, so you guys should be able to hear that. So there you go. Sometimes with my NVIDIA cards, I have to completely reinstall the driver. Why? I don't know. I don't know. But as you saw, the Elgato option was not there before. We'll do it again. We'll right click over here. You can go back to the beginning of the video and see what options we had. Elgato was not there. Now there's like a ton of Elgato options over here. Well, really, there's NVIDIA HDMI, NVIDIA HDMI, NVIDIA HDMI. But still, whatever. It's the same general idea. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully this video has helped you out. I know I don't necessarily edit my videos and fast-forward them and all that, and some people are like, oh, this is a huge waste of time for me to watch it and blah, blah, blah. But I'll counter that by saying, otherwise, your, your other options, if you found this video and it solved the solution for you, if it gave you the solution you were looking for, and this fixes your problem, this was probably still easier for you to watch this video then if you do what I've had to do in the past and scour forums where the search is so ridiculous, people say search is your friend, and you're searching through the forum and you literally find everything except the answer that you're looking for. So even if I didn't fast forward it and edit this video, hopefully it was still useful for you. Hopefully it still solved your problem. Thanks for watching, guys. Have yourselves an excellent day and uh, hopefully I'll see you again.